Hey Libra, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm Karma, also known as Alexandra, and this is Karma Light Readings. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2022. But as I always tell you guys, energy is fluid, um, and it just depends on where you're at on your journey, spiritual healing, and your relationship with God. Um, so based on where you're at, at on your journey, that's going to help you determine how you resonate with my reading. So some of this may resonate with you in the past. It may resonate right now. You're going to start to see some of it manifest in the next three months. Um, so if at any time you do resonate with this reading, please go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have the exchange of energy. Other Libras can find this easier. Um, and we're going to go ahead and jump into it. If you are interested in a personal reading, there are four links in the description box below. Uh, the first three are for Etsy. And you can find reviews there from previous clients. And then the fourth link is for phone readings. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Divine, Holy Spirit of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Libra. In regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul lessons. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what generational curses, karmic cycles, and soul lessons Libra may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live in your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen. I'm sorry, that envy card and then what spirit is showing me, there's something and that's mutual energy so you can place it um, where it belongs. There's either envy around you. Um, from other people that spirit is warning you about Libra or there's envy within you you know I'm not I'm a, a real reader so this is my goal and my gift is to show you what's inside of you and then there's hostilities so maybe you're dealing with a lot of anger and frustration right now and you don't realize you know the root of it and where it's coming from you could have some differences with some people right now and or there's just a lot of mental anguish and chaos happening around you your demons are trying to get you okay um and sometimes we don't like the light being reflected on us because when the light is reflected back to us and we have to see all that we are. Ooh, Libra, that's that's hard. I mean, and we constantly go through that. That's part of the evolving process. It's not just a one-time thing and you're a bad person because we're going to show you what's what's wrong with you. No, we all have things that are wrong with us. And, and I'm going to use the word wrong. I am. I'm going to be that harsh with you because the things that are wrong with you are the things of the devil and they need to come out. If you want the life that you want to have, Libra, we can't look at anything else around us. We have to look at everything within us. What am I doing to make myself feel this way? Am I continuing to think a negative way? Am I continuing to respond to things that, you know what I'm saying? So it's really about taking accountability. Not everything can be everybody else's fault. It just can't. At some point, we have to look within. And so as we move forward, and I'm preaching like this for the newbies on the spiritual journey. If you guys have already been on this awakening journey, Libra, and you're at a certain level, then you know, you don't, you'll just bypass what I'm saying because you understand it. But for the newbies that are here, you got to go through that, that, that massive groundbreaking, earth shattering pain a few times, um, you know what I'm saying, at the beginning of this journey. Now, as you continue to go through tower moments and painful moments, when you sit in the pain instead of reacting in the pain and when you turn the light on you. So when we get in pain, we've been trained by society, right, to what? To look at everybody around us. Well, they made me feel this way and this person said a bad word. 
But guess what? If we all checked ourselves, there wouldn't be any bad words. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you get where I'm trying to go here, Leo or Libra? I'm sorry. So that's what spirit is showing me. There's just this energy of if there's deception, if there's envy, if there's negativity around you, you got to back off. You got to go. Don't feed into it anymore. And then ask yourself, you know, because that's a darkness in you too. Why do I still want to be around that type of energy? Okay. So let's see. Ooh, you got two cards there. And then this one. All right. Yep. See, so you have, here you are, the thinking woman, which is the queen of swords. And then you have indecision. And then patience. And then you have rest and rejuvenation and door to spirit. You have to sit and meditate and relax because I feel like there's so much going on in your mind. There's a lot of big changes that are taking place because I just saw 555. So it's, it's like there's something that is coming up from the ground underneath you. It's earth shattering. It's rattling. You're very, very focused on a decision. But what's crazy is, Libra, you're very, very focused. I'm trying to like look at you and talk at the same time. It's kind of hard. So let me show you these. But you're very, very focused on not making a decision. Like... I know why it's confusing, but you have to stop thinking about what could go wrong. That's the only reason why you can't make a decision. What do you want? Have patience with yourself while you really figure this out because this patience is about balance. It's about transitioning out of who you were to move into who you want to be because I don't think you like being indecisive because being indecisive means that you're staying in karmic patterns. You're going through the loop over and over and over and over and over. And you have two numbers here. So I'm going to tell you what these numbers represent to me. For 16, if I take the six, this lets me know that you need to transition out of something, okay? That you need to walk away from something. And then you have one because there's a new opportunity, a new beginning that's going to come from this. And then together, this is a seven. That's mystical. So spirit is trying to lead you and guide you here. I think this was your reading last week. Yep, Libra, the divine is trying to lead you. Listen. Okay, so I think now you know the, 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 you know the divine is leading you. But there's like a question of, is this my decision or the divine's decision? Whose decision do I make? You always listen to your heart. Your heart, your mind cannot tell you where to go. And you don't want to start listening to your mind until you know for sure that you are in this space of knowing that God resides with you at all times. Right now, you're still indecisive. Not because you are not worthy and because God doesn't want to have a relationship with you. God is there. He never leaves you. But for some reason, I feel like sometimes you don't realize that because when you start to feel the darkness creep up, you allow the indecision and the fear and the anxiety to take over instead of being patient and calling in God. It's like, I think you try to take control of it and just say, well, I, well, I have to make a decision. But your decision is going to, you're going to know what to do when you listen to your heart. That's what it is. You're going to know what to do when you listen to your heart. There's a lot of tension in your upper body is what I'm feeling as well. Okay, so here, perfect. You have the Fool, which in this car, uh, deck is called Potential. That's the recent past. Current energy is the Knight of Cups. 
your energy is the queen of swords there you are that's you and the thinking woman so two queen of swords so you're very you might be closed off and icy you might have really told somebody how you felt but now you're taking that back outside energy is the ace of pentacles so there is an opportunity here but you're struggling with making that decision your challenge is the five of cups Your next steps of action is the five of wands. And the outcome is death, Scorpio energy, rebirth and reawakening, massive transformation, becoming aware of something. And on the bottom, you have the nine of wands with the high priestess and introspection, which is the hermit. You're hesitant about actually healing. And like I said, you don't know you don't know whose voice you're listening to. You can't figure out if it's God's voice or if it's your own decision. And there's like this battle. Just so you know, you're battling yourself. That's all you're, that's it. You're literally just arguing with yourself. You're, you're arguing with your heart and you're arguing with your mind. And I'm going to tell you something right now. God doesn't live in your mind. He lives in your heart. So if you're not making decisions from your heart, then who in the spirit realm is behind your thoughts and your decisions? I, one way to, to help you understand your intuition is God will never lead you to harm someone. God will never tell you to be jealous of someone. God will never tell you to hold envy, which we saw come out of your heart. God will not even tell you to stay in a situation where somebody is doing those things to you. He'll tell you to give them love and compassion and kindness and then step away. But, but it's like, if there's a, a choice to make that is hurtful for you, that's not from God. If there's a choice where you can see that outcome and what could happen, and of course there's always pain in life. Of course there's always, you know, because they teach us things, but you don't have to choose the, the path of destruction, the one that just really makes you feel like crap and you can't stand it, but that's what God wants me to do. No, no. Not at all. He does not want you to constantly be in pain. As a matter of fact, we were free from that curse when Jesus came. We're not supposed to live in that anymore. If we choose to live in that, then he died for nothing. So you need to start living more in the positive realm is what I'm seeing for yourself because you're worried about something. Um, there was a situation here that had a lot of potential i feel like it may have been a love connection with the knight of cups i feel like there's some type of apology or message of love that you either recently had or would like to have or that somebody wants to give to you there they they saw this as you know a valuable risk and a valuable leap of faith or perhaps that's what you're indecisive about is this is taking a risk. I feel like there's somebody here who's giving you an offer and you're just not having any of it because you don't know what to do. You're not sure which way to go. You don't know which way is God's way. And that's why spirit is saying, just take your time and rest here with introspection. Um, you have rest and rejuvenate. There's something that you need to close out and let go of. I would start with prayer. Um, give yourself a schedule, maybe praying in the morning and meditating in the afternoon, something to give you time, you know, in between to recalibrate. But you need to pray and meditate and you need to set this time aside because there's answers that are trying to come to you. It is going to come to you in the form of a massive awakening here. Okay. Um, I feel like you put your foot down though with something. Outside energy is the Ace of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this is somebody who wants to come to you. There's an opportunity. There's an offer here, a new beginning, a fresh start, um, a lot of abundance. It has a lot of promise, a lot of promise. 
But the challenge that you're dealing with is the Five of Cups. So I want to clarify a few things here. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles for the outside energy, please. Wow. So there is a person here, outside energy of someone who I feel like um, you guys mirrored each other greatly. Uh, but there was sabotage in this connection because um, there was a lot of wounds. Okay, you have mirror and hammer. And this person wants to come in and take a chance. You have hand of cards. They want to take a risk with you. And cross watchers, you know, you can, however you want to place the energies where they belong. Because I spirit is, so I feel like if you are a Libra male, I feel like you're the one who wants to give this message. And if you're a Libra female, I feel like you're getting the message. I could be wrong, but that's how that's how spirit is showing it to me. But there's something here, and I, and I feel like the outside energy for the Ace of Pentacles, it's showing up like this because of this awakening. Whatever you work on within yourself and whatever you're healing, it causes this person to want to come in they're seeing something differently as well it helps them as well and they they're trying to figure out they're trying to figure out how am i going to get to you how, how am i going to fix this they finally see what they did they see where they went wrong okay um you may have felt stabbed in the back by this person you know or vice versa but they still love you there's still love here and i feel like that's why there's a potential in the warrior of cups Somebody wants to come towards you. They see what this is now. They're ready to take a leap of faith, but you're showing up as the queen of swords twice where you're like, what, what faith? I've put faith in this so much. You know what I mean? Um, and the challenge is the five of cups. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of sadness, regret, and remorse in this connection. So much. Um, and I don't feel like it's ever been discussed or talked about. Clarify this five of cups, please. There's someone here who feels very depleted, very lost, and they can't get, I feel like it's been a challenge for someone to come out of this depression, to come out of this sadness. There's, it's just, this is a very dark card to me because it's really somebody just, depleting all of their energy and emptying their vessel on something that's just really um earth shattering and painful and they can't get out of it clarify the five of cups wow 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 addiction and a karmic relationship so the karmic relationship could even just be the addiction um There's sadness because I think that's what you're realizing is there's somebody here who is very controlling, um, who has, who may have a serious addiction to some, some type of drugs and or alcohol. Okay. Um, and that was getting in the way of this relationship. And I feel like this person is starting to see that this there's sadness because it is a karmic relationship. It's showing up as a karmic relationship and somebody is recognizing that they just have to let it go. And they don't, they don't want to let it go, but they have to, or they have to face the karmic energy within themselves and release it and heal it to try to bring something together. Right? Um, so your next steps of action and the outcome are the five of wands and the death. I feel like this might be for you, Libra. Um, and not the other person. There is a challenge coming. 
I want you to understand that you're about to be heavily attacked and challenged because you're about to see the light. You're going through an awakening. And so the devil does not ever want us to win. The devil does not ever want us to get closer to God or spirit. So if you are feeling like everything is going wild, that's why spirit is saying, just have patience, rest and rejuvenate and pray, 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 call on the Lord. There's nothing like calling on the Lord and having a good shield because it comes instantly it comes instantly stay persistent you know i've been on this this journey too um it's going on uh well my best friend passed away uh in 2016 and that's when it started um so you know it takes time i'm just saying that there's something here that's going to be a challenge but i feel like you're going to tackle it with grace i do because you're ready for it you're ready for it. Um, it's just very important that you listen to the light. You have to cut out anything that is toxic. Any of this stuff that is not for you, it's time to let it go. Whether it's thoughts, behaviors, drugs, anything at all, you have to get out of it so that you can see something clearly. That's what's going to bring in this change. That's what's going to bring in this awakening. Um, I like this awakening because it's a transformation, right? It's not just a revelation. This is a full transformation that takes place where you close out some type of cycle that has been very unstable, very unbalanced, and very confusing, and you move it forward into something that is aligned. All right? All right, Libra, I'm sending you much love. Bye.